Right, so we've just come from your thoracic rotation and your half shoulder car. Now we're going to go into the proper shoulder car now. We're going to talk a little bit about the reasons why we're going to do shoulder cars, which are controlled articulatory rotations. Now, the idea is, do you think about your sports, you know, hitting pads, bags, people's heads? There's a lot of impact, a lot of trauma goes through the shoulders. And as a result, there's a lot of damage that takes place in terms of things like the articular cartilage, the joint capsule, the ligaments. So what we want to try and do is find a movement that clears out all the corners. And your controlled articulatory rotations are the things that do that. Now what you'll find when you do these things initially, as we found when we took the first take of this, before the camera ran out, we, Liam found after a couple of three repetitions, the clicking sensation he got into his shoulders started to reduce, and you should find by the time you've done this, your shoulders won't click anymore. Clicking isn't necessarily a bad thing. Clicking and pain isn't a good thing. That's when you need to go and see somebody. But if it's just clicking, it's just a sign of wear and tear through the joint surfaces. And if you spent you know, a lifetime using your joints, you're going to get some wear and tear. You know, I'm 50 this year. My shoulders fucking click and pop all over the place. And I'm sure yours click yeah, and pop at 30 odd. Yeah. So the thing with cars, we want to make sure that instead of twisting our body to get the arm round, we're trying to encourage movement through the shoulder. So imagine that you're braced in that position for us, Liam. So the chest is facing towards the camera, hips are forwards. We're going to start off on your left arm, thumb facing towards the camera, and we're going to bring the arm up as close to the ear as you can. At the top position, we're going to rotate around so the palm faces away, and then we're going to try and bring that all the way down as close to the body as you can. And when you get to the side of your leg, we're going to reverse that movement, so we're going to come all the way back up. Now I can hear the clicks here, the audible clicks coming from your shoulders. So we'll see with the proof of the pudding will be in the eating. We'll see how that improves as it goes through these things. Things to think about as you're doing this. If you've got pre-existing shoulder injuries, you might find that you tend to overuse your upper traps. So you start to get some tightness into your neck. I'm listening to the audible click. No, it's all gone. It's all gone. Yeah, yeah. So in the space of what, three, two, yeah, three repetitions, yeah. Liam's shoulder isn't clicking anymore. And that's because we've basically cleared out all the joint surfaces, all the joint capsule. Mm -hmm. So this is a great pre-workout mobility exercise for your shoulders. It's also something that'd be really nice to do away from training and just spend a little bit of time in the morning times, opening up your shoulder joint, clearing out all the debris from the previous night's training and your, your shoulders will thank you for it.